My Lenten Devotional. Hello, my name is Celia Stober with All Saints Lutheran Church. My favorite scripture is Jeremiah 29, 11 through 13, where the Lord says, I alone know the plans I have for you, plans to bring you prosperity, not disaster, plans to bring about the future you hope for. Then you will call to me. You will come and pray to me, and I will answer you. You will seek me with and find me with because you seek me with your whole heart. I lived alone for many years praying this scripture, not knowing what my future held. Sometime after joining All Saints, I met Cliff Schneider, and we dated for a year or so. In July of this last year, I fell and broke my ankle in two places. After surgery, two metal, screw, two metal plates and 13 screws. I spent days in the wheelchair, then progressed to a walker then physical therapy. All the while, Cliff was by my side, caring for me. And six months later, I'm walking normal and very grateful. I am so grateful that I could feel the Lord's presence through all of my s stages of recovery. Because of the Lord's promise in Jeremiah 29, 11 through 13, and the following poem by an unknown author, I was able to thank the Lord every day for the progress made. The name of the poem is called Footprints. One night, a man had a dream. He dreamed he was walking along the beach with the Lord. Across the sky flashed scenes from his life. For each scene, he noticed two sets of footprints in the sand. One belonged to him and the other to the Lord. When the last day of his life flashed before him, he looked back at the footprints in the sand. He noticed that many times along the road, the path of his life, there was only one set of footprints. He noticed that it happened at the very lowest and saddest times in his life. This really bothered him, and he questioned the Lord about it. Lord, you said that once I decided to follow you, you'd walk with me all the way. But I noticed that during the most troublesome times in my life, there was only one set of footprints. I don't understand why when I needed you most, you leave me, you would leave me. The Lord replied, my precious, precious child, I love you and I would never leave you. During your times of trial and suffering, when you saw only one set of footprints, it was then that I carried you. This poem has a lot of meaning for me. I hope you enjoyed it. And the rest of the story, Cliff and I were united in holy matrimony during the pandemic. It was held in his backyard on the grassy lawn trimmed with petunias. I walked down the aisle on flower petals. Invited friends came in masks and sat in chairs six feet apart. It was a beautiful sunny morning and the ceremony was performed by Pastor Kristen. It was like the last promise in the scripture where the Lord said, plans to bring about a future you hope for. In closing, I would like to share with you the Mispah benediction 
from Numbers 6, 24 through 36, 26, excuse me. May the Lord bless you and take care of you. May the Lord be kind and gracious to you. May the Lord look on you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Thank you. Goodbye. Have a blessed day.